India in the ICC Cricket World Cup 2003 Finals. A near impossible thought even a month ago. And here they were, a bunch of heroes, just one victory away from the dream. Here's a look at the sides that have been selected for today's final. And with Australia, just a little bit of a surprise, Damian Martin is in the lineup. And of course, he's got that uh, broken uh, finger on his left hand, but he says he's okay, so he's playing. Ian Harvey's the man that's been asked to have a bit of a breather. And India, no changes. They are unchanged again. They've only used 12 players throughout this World Cup, and it's the fifth time they've gone into a World Cup game in this World Cup unchanged. Now, India won the toss and elected to bowl. Let's pick up the action with our two commentators, Sanjay Mandraker and also Mark Taylor. Oh, crack. That's a beautiful shot. Adam Gilchrist. Slightly over-pitched and a little bit of width from Zahir Khan. And that's all the invitation that Gilchrist needs. Fine shot. He didn't try to hit it too hard there. So he comes back for a 50. Very well played, Adam Gilchrist. In extremely quick time as well. There's a salute to the change room, and they've appreciated it. Tries of catch it. There is a man getting near it. Will he take it? No, he won't. It isn't going to run away for four. It's gone again. This time it's up in the air. There's a fielder out there. Should take the catch. The catch is taken. Verinder Sowing it is, so that's the big breakthrough they wanted. Australia have got off to fly. Harbour John Singh has picked up the wicket, went miles in the air, but Sowing has taken it. Completely in control of the situation. He's almost caught the ball before, and Harbour John Singh has got him here with... It almost looked as though it came off the middle of the bat, but it was just a half, um, a half swing. Oh, there's a big shout. Yes, he's got him. And that's just what Australia didn't need. And India needed it badly. And Harbhajan Singh has delivered for the Indians. Whether you're bowling fast or slow, there's turn there for Harbhajan Singh. And you can see the ball gripping and turning right across the body there of Matt Hayden. Thin outside edge. Uh, Rahul Javid has done well. That's four, and brings up a 50. Slow ball worked away, there it is. There's the 100 for Ricky Ponting. What a wonderful performance from him. He is absolutely elated, as you can imagine. The skipper getting a century in a World Cup final. His teammates are on their feet. They're delighted as well. That's his 13th one day national 100 for Australia. His fifth as captain, and his second in this World Cup. That is a huge hit. That is absolutely enormous. That has gone in the first tier. My goodness. Just over the top of Vashis Nero, and that's running away for a boundary to finish proceedings. What a superb performance from Australia. Reminder, of course, that India won the toss and asked them to bat 50 overs. They've got 359 for two in the World Cup final. Ricky Ponting, absolutely outstanding. 140 not out of 121 balls. And good support also from Ricky. Damian Martin, rather, 88 in the partnership, 234. But brilliant stuff from Ricky Ponting. What a magnificent performance by Australia. 50 overs, 359 for two. Gilchrist and Hayden got things off in uh, spanking style. 105 opening stand off, just 87 balls. And then Ricky Ponting and Damian Martin were very, very savage. Ponting not out 140 of 121. And Damian Martin not out 88 of 84. A partnership of 234 of 184 deliveries. So in the end, 359 for two. Now, the Indian bowlers, there were plenty of bowlers used. They had to use plenty because the seamers, for once, didn't do the job. Zahir Ghan got some tap, going at uh, over 9.5 to the over. Jovagal Srinath, over 8.5. And that's just near a little bit more respectable, going at over 5.5. But everyone got some tap. The only one who didn't, I suppose, was uh, Vrinda Sawak, that he only bowled three overs. So it uh, certainly was a tough day for India in the field. And their target now, they've got to bat well. They need 360 runs to win this final. They've got 50 overs available, and the required rate is 7. Point two to the over. Full shot. Off the mark is Tendorka. The crowd has gone berserk here. Lots of Indian supporters. It's running away towards the boundary. It should be four. And it's four. There's the start. Mm, in 
interesting. Never looks to do this against Glenn McGrath, Sachin Tendulkar. But it's the shortest length and I'm sure a premeditated shot where he had decided, looking at the pitch, anything short in length, that's where he's looking to score aggressively. Oh, it's gone high. It's going to be our cotton ball by Glenn McGrath. It is. That is it. That is the big one they want in Australia. They've got Sachin Tendulkar in the first over. Glenn McGrath has got him again like he did in an important game in the 99 World Cup. Well, look at the celebrations. They know how important this wicket is. Tendulkar deciding in this over that anything short in leg is going to play the full shot. This was short, not very short, mind you. It's just the pace. I think he just misjudged the pace, came on to him quickly. In the end, cram for time and place to play that shot. Simple catch to McGraw. The first wicket happens to be the big one for Australia. That's a good shot. One bounce over the rope. He's picked that up beautifully as uh, Verinda Sawag, and he's off the mark with the boundary. It's a good shot. Just behind square on the offside, and it's gone for six. Wow, that is a good shot. Over the top, has it gone for six? Yes, it has. Square on the offside for six. That's a good shot also, this time from Verinda Sawag, and that is a huge over. Straight up in the air. This should be out, and it will be out. Darren Lehman has got it. There's the second wicket. Brett Lee's got his first. And that's 21 wickets for Brett Lee. Premeditated shots throughout an innings like this, and it, and it will last. It wasn't short enough, but it was in his mind, Saab Ganguly. Two men on the onside, none of them in the deep. That's the direction to go, but you've got to select the right delivery. That wasn't. And that's a big edge. There's wicket number three. And that's wicket number 20 for Glenn McGrath. Just about off stump. Not very good footwork there from Mohamed Kaif. Drifting away from the ball, not getting close to it. Umpire Shepard had absolutely no doubt. Six. Favourite spot today. Just out of the reach of the point man. It wasn't time, but it is 50 for Verinda Sewag. And uh, he's played pretty well. He's used his brains. He's not been so good against the short one out there today. The batsman's turn to Steve Buckter, who's turned his back on him. But they will come together after this ball and by Shepard going across to umpire Buckner now the sun's coming out as well we've got the lights on the umpires are saying bring on the covers the umpires are out there talking to the groundsman I'm sure is assuring them that uh, everything's fine in the immediate future Australian team. Virinda Sevag and Rahul Dravid will once again come out to the centre and try and put up a fight. Dravid off in a flash. He'll get five runs, but a direct hit would have had him in trouble. He'll look for the big one. And he gets maximum. Sebag has to hurry, he's gone! The Australians are celebrating. Problem was he had to run round the bowler. He could not run straight. That might have taken a couple of yards off him. Short of his ground by a couple of yards. Back onto the stumps, Pickle, you've done it again. Forced the pace. Four fielders inside the ring on the offside. He was very frustrated the last time when he missed out on an opportunity. And again, trying to pierce the field, not uh, looking to pick up the single. Once they found that the Australian fielders are very alert. Andrew Bickle has been the workhorse for Australia. He's picked up a valuable wicket. Rahul Dravid gone for 47. Now the problems start for India. 187 for 5. 
That's gone high. There is a Fieldsman converging. Brett Lee it is, is coming underneath it. And he takes the catch. He covered some good ground there, some 15, 20 metres, I suppose, Brett Lee. That's the end of Yuvraj Singh. And surely that's the end of India in this World Cup final. Done for the big one, chancing his arm in this over. Brad Hogg's final over. It's turning away from his hitting against the spin. Toe ends it. Brett Lee makes a lot of ground. Always had it in his sights. Watched it into the hands. That's his seventh catch in this World Cup. It's gone back over Andrew Simons. Is it out? Yes, it is. That is a brilliant catch. Damien Martin, who put one down earlier, has now taken an absolute blinder. Very, very quick indeed across the grass and had to get the dive out. Just look at the ground he makes up here as well. Andrew Simons. Chris Mongia trying to hit him over the top, high on the bat, so it hasn't got the power and the distance he wanted. Now look at this, makes the ground and then watches it into his hands. Now the other thing is, gets his elbows out of the way, so he doesn't drop it when the ground hits the ground. Terrific catch. That's in the air, should be taken. The World Cup for Australia. A comprehensive win here by 125 runs. Well, they've put a lot of work into that and they've played extremely well all the way through. A dream that sadly was not to be, at least not this time. Ganguly won the toss and put the Aussies on, a decision which proved to be fatal as the Aussies completely blunted the overwhelmed Indian attack, breaking many a record on the way. India could still do it, many thought, if Sachin came good when it mattered the most. But sadly, the writing was on the wall before the first over ended. In spite of a late fight back, India fell woefully short of the target, and the Aussies were crowned world champions yet again. So a bit disappointing for you, but they are a tough team to beat. Yes, uh, it's a bit disappointing, uh, but uh, all credits to them, they played very well. Uh, it was not an easy wicket to bat early on, it did a bit. Uh, but I thought, hats off to them, they played like real champions. If there was any consolation, it was Sachin Tendulkar being named Man of the Tournament, a trophy that he would have more than gladly traded with what Ricky Ponting proudly held in his hand. So India flattered yet again to deceive at the very end.